from the Greek magical papyri of antiquity through Arabic and Byzantine sources onto the grimoire, the magical texts of the early modern era. So let's start in ancient Egypt. Can't go much further back than that. Its culture was unified by the belief that the cosmos was animated and controlled by a morally neutral spiritual power. This was manipulated by the goddesses and gods to regulate and maintain the natural order, but it could be used against them and employed by human beings independently and for their own ends. The mobilization of it consisted of ritual to unite the necessary words and materials through action. As deities were adept in magic, they were believed to sanction its use by humans who paid them the necessary respect. But, aha, those humans, once empowered, were also seen as capable of using it to threaten and coerce deities to do their will. And this procedure was regarded as perfectly respectable. And it's attested in Egyptian texts from round about four and a half thousand years ago onwards. Furthermore, those texts lack any sense of a distinction between religious and magical acts. They mingle praise and threats, prayers and demands to all divine beings. And the same invocation can be used either to honour a deity or to obtain private advantage to a person. The usual authors and performers of magical acts on behalf of people in general were functionaries of the official and orthodox religion and attached to its temples. One type of official acted as both priest and magician, as required by people from the neighbourhood. The practice of magic was quite legal, even when performed viciously against public and private enemies. The category of behaviour known in English in the negative sense as witchcraft was therefore both unknown and meaningless in Egyptian culture. 